everyone, I'm Erin Thompson with Everyday Expressions. Welcome back! Today I'm thrilled to share a new video series entitled 10 Minute Tips. These videos will be less than 10 minutes long and offer tips, tricks, and techniques to take your crafting to a whole new level. Did you know that you can color directly over water-based dye inks using alcohol ink markers? You sure can! And in this video, I'm going to use my All To Do Artist markers, which are alcohol ink based, over my, some of my favorite Catherine Pooler ink colors. Catherine Pooler ink pads are a very water reactive dye ink, and they are actually my go to. I am using Hammer Mill Heavyweight White Cardstock here, and I'm using uh, some green, blue, blue greens of the Catherine Pooler colors to ink blend a slim line panel. Now actually this is a card that I created for Craft Roulette. Mary Gunn has a show every Friday evening called Craft Roulette and there are different parameters. And the parameters for this card were a Z-fold card. You could only use three colors so I chose green, blue, and pink. Rocks and floating. So at first you might think, hmm, that might be challenging, but immediately my mind went to these adorable Sweet November stamps to create an ocean scene because I knew there was coral and rocks in the Horizons scenic stamp, and then the floating would be my mermaids. I decided to use this technique because for me, ink blending a background is much faster than Copic coloring a background. So I grabbed the, my, those pretty green blue inks to use as the kind of a murky ocean color, ink blended the background, spritz it, spritzed it with water, made sure that it was completely dry, and then I pulled out my Alta New Artist markers in greens, blues, and pinks, and then colored the stamped image. Now you notice I stamped the background using my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. That is my go-to for you for coloring with alcohol ink markers. It doesn't smear, it doesn't bleed, and I always heat set it with a heat gun before I begin coloring. The coloring is not the focus of this video, so I've cut a lot of that out. I have left some here so you can see. But what I do hope that you notice here is how easy it actually is to color, color over the dye-based ink. The colors go on just as easily as if you were coloring directly on, for instance, like white cardstock. You won't notice any drag or any problems coloring over that. And it doesn't bleed. It doesn't smear. It's two completely different mediums um, working actually very well together. Another way that you can try this technique is if you have a solid image stamp, an example might be a fall leaf. You could stamp it in one solid color if you're using a water-based dye ink and then take an alcohol ink marker and go back over that to add some shading or some different colors and depth and dimension. That, I find, is definitely a way to jazz up what normally might be a flat, one-dimensional, solid stamp. Now, as you see me finishing up the coloring on this panel, just to explain a little bit more of my card, the craft roulette rules say that in addition to the three color parameters, you are also allowed to use neutral colors. So I knew that I was safe in coloring skin colors for my mermaids. So I had a lot of fun coloring them in the neutral colors, but also then making their hair the, the blues and the greens and the turquoise colors that fit the parameters. And then all I did was fussy cut them and adhered them onto my card. What do you think? Are you ready to try coloring with alcohol markers over your dye-based ink blending? I can't wait to see what you create. Thanks so much for watching today. Please like and subscribe to be notified when more videos in this series are released.